Welcome back everyone to another updated video tutorial. Uh, so on this one, quite simply, we are going to be doing the door with the boards, the nails, and of course a lock and a key. And if I can just grab it, and boom, boom, there you go. She's done. Cool? All right, so let's do this thing. So first things first, uh, let me go out and remove all of these. All right, come on, come on, come on. All right, let's be, let's, let's, let's go as fresh as possible. I'll leave the crowbar there. Okay, so yes, 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 yes. Okay. So if you guys want, um, I've explained this in other tutorials, so I'll just go brief, brief. All you guys need to do is go into your geometry over here, place a box, stretch it out, and then after that, place another box, uh, size it up to your door, and just go over here and hit the subtractive. All right, but I'm going to remove that one just because I already have one, and I'm lazy and don't want to make a new one. Okay, so uh, first things first. Uh, let's go straight to door, to our doors here, uh, content, uh, why is this like this, anyways, uh, content, go to objects, actually, you know what, I'll do it this way, so, content, and objects, 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 there she is, let's go up to BP objects, and then inside of your BP objects, let's search for door. Uh, two things. Uh, in my other videos, I was showing you guys how to do it with door times day, which is the door meant for uh, the night and day puzzle. Um, the one where, uh, depending on what day it is, what time of day it is, the door will be locked or unlocked. Uh, that over there, over here, if you go into the defaults and change the uh, the settings today because it'll be at night then it'll open all right so quite simply if you need to ever use that one but most people are using the door inwards all right so just take door inwards right here search for it in your b in your uh, bp objects your blueprint objects and let's just fit this in to the hole that i've already made all right, and it should it should be obvious, but the little green arrow points in the direction of the door. All right, and if you're going to be doing these holds with these walls, uh, you're going to have to really make sure that the uh, door that there's none, no actual like uh, wall that's coming out through it. All right. So, once that's done, let's go in, back into our content browser, search for boards, and this is where a bit of it is different. Okay, I'm just going to set it up. So, uh, we figured this all out during our stream with everybody. Again, anybody who's watching this, thanks for helping out. Helped out a lot. Uh, so, the board itself, what you need to do is... Uh, over here in the flat component mode, just put it to hold, all right? And she won't fall off, because now it kind of just falls off. Uh, next thing is in boards, uh, under door, select the actual, the, the door that we place that you want it to be locked. Uh, and that, that will be that. Now go back into content browser and let's search for BP nail. This one's so much bigger. So I'm just going to position this one. Best thing to do is position one and then start copying it if you need more. So position it, putting all of its little settings in. Uh, whatever. I'm kind of like pressed for time here. Well, more like you guys are. All right. So once you have that, your nail over here, select the board. All right. And then just hold the alt and drag all right so good trick if you guys are going to be doing stuff you really really should test everything out every single time that you're doing it all right 
you add something, test it out, add something, test it out. Because if anything breaks, what, how do you know which, which item broke it, right? So test everything out. Once that's done, we'll go back to our BP objects, go into searching for lock. And I have a bias for green locks, my favorite color. So I'm going for a green lock. All right, position your lock. All right, I'm going to do this quickly, though. I need whatever. OK, that's good enough, right? That's good. I'm happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. OK, so over here, door. So we want it to lock that door, the same one from before, so door inwards. And right here, you can hit the little plus sign. And I'm going to put in just any number. You don't have to put the same number as me. I'm just putting 11 because that's my number. And then we're going to go back into our content browser and search for key. OK. And if you want to be really, really cool, click on your lock over here. Find the static mesh. Uh, this one here. OK. Just find it. And if we double click that and open it. And if she doesn't take too, too much time. Come on. Come on. All right. And let's just go and find this content browser. So just hit these little browse to asset content. And there she is. Aha. So now with this selected, we can go and put this color on our key. Aha. There you go. Little trick. It's not really a trick, but whatever. Uh, okay. With the key selected, uh, just add the exact same number that you put for the lock. So I put 11, put 11, and now if we press play. Let's go see. Everything's locked. Let's try the crowbar first because I know that one worked, right? So that's all good. Oh, and I'm still locked. Ooh. Ooh. Take a look, and she's done, and she's open, and we are out of here. All right, cool. So that's it. Um, not too, too much has changed. It's mostly the, the board that uh, that's changed in how you make it hold, uh, but that's about it. So I'm going to leave you guys with that, and uh, yeah, take it easy.